Hello guys, Terry here. Apple's event in September passed. We have the new iPhone 60s, we have a new Apple Watch Series 10, and new AirPods. So the question is, it's already October. Does this mean that before Halloween, we're gonna have another Apple event? If you don't remember last year's Apple scary event, we got a new MacBook Pro with M3 chip and in a new color. So the question is, what updates we'll get in this event and first of all will there be an apple event in october or they're gonna pass it this year i'm expecting something maybe with the m4 yes the m4 ipad pro was something that expected weeks people thought that, okay they're just gonna put the m3 into their ipad pros but no they went with a whole new chip for these ipads so since we already have it the question is Will it spread through across all their devices? Or maybe we'll have an M5, something that I don't really believe will happen because I feel like M4 is in only one device currently. So I believe, first of all, it has to get through the rest of the devices until they upgrade and go with the M5. But does this mean that then we might have M5 chip into the next year's spring event if there is another iPad or something? We are about to find out. Right now, let's see what we know about the Apple event in October. So, by tradition, Apple unveils the new flagship iPhone models each September, and that happened as expected during the its Glow Time event. But Tim Cook and Co. don't believe in packing too much into this one launch event. Overdue the agenda, with unreleased product races, the possibility that some would get overlooked by the press and consumers. So Apple typically holds new and upgraded Macs and iPads until the following month. In October 30th, 2023, 14 and 16-inch MacBook Pro models updated with M3, M3 Pro and M3 Max processor launched at this scary fast event. For example, Expect history to repeat itself this month through there is nowhere yet on an exact date. Rumors point to multiple macOS models and iPadOS tablets on the Apple October event agenda. So just as last year, people expect there will be a MacBook updated. I still can't believe that it literally was like February or March when they did the M2 2023. And a few months later, wasn't even a year, they started, oh, okay, we now have M3. So let's see if we know something else. Now we have another leaks and rumors by someone else who believes that there will be an Apple event in October. So Apple is reportedly gearing up for its highly anticipated October 2024 event, where the California-based tech giant is expected to introduce a new line of M4-powered MacBooks and updated iPads. Late information about the MacBooks retail packing has surfaced, providing a glimpse into the device's potential specifications. This leak, first shared by Shrimp Apple Pro on X, formerly Twitter, was also reported by Tom's Guide. However, as the source of the packing remains uncertain, the details should be taken with caution until officially confirmed by Apple. If the leaked images are accurate, Apple is preparing to unveil a 14-inch MacBook model featuring an M4 chip, 16GB of RAM and 512GB of internal storage. Notably, the jump to 16 of RAM marks a significant change as previous MacBook models often started with 8GB. This increase in memory expects to improve multitasking capabilities, making the device more suitable for professional and power users in the line with the demand of the 2024 Pro laptop. So people expect that there will be an M4 MacBook Pro. So usually they start really at 8 gigabytes and 256 gigabytes of storage. I believe this is too less for a, on a phone. Yes, for a laptop. No, you definitely need more. But there are people who really don't do that much with their laptops and even 512 or 256 are enough. But will there actually be a MacBook Pro this year? We keep talking about the MacBook Pro, the M4, but what actually we know about the M4 chip? So, M4 chip and connectivity upgrades. The rumored specifications for the M4 chip highlight a 10-core CPU paired with a 10-core GPU offering a notable performance upgrade over the M3 chip's 8-core CPU and 10-core GPU configuration. If these specs hold true, users could see enhanced processing power and improved graphic capabilities, making the new MacBook more efficient for intensive tasks. Additionally, the leak packing hints 
at an extra Thunderbolt 4 port, bringing the total number of USB-C connections to 3. This could provide users with more flexibility for peripheral health and data transfer gathering to professionals who rely on multiple devices and high-speed connections. So the MacBook Pros already have enough ports, to be honest, compared to the MacBook Air. And the fact that you're bringing more people can hook up literally so many devices and TV said, sorry, you maxed out your MacBook. And I believe that there are people who actually do this. They just pair so many devices until they reach out the capability. That's why there are people who max out their MacBook Pros up to 8 gigabytes of storage, 128 gigabytes of infinite memory. Like, do you know how much this is? It's a super powerful device. The M3 is already powerful. The M2 as well. Now, M4. Do you imagine how high up the power will be? And M2 will be like, um, I'm just hanging there still. M1 will be, once I was a thing. Now, I'm just laying there with the rest of the laptops that used to be something back in the day. Now, let's check which devices will get updated with the M4 or maybe an M3. We already said multiple times that we expected the new MacBook Pros with M4. But what other devices might get this chip? So, iMac. The 2040-inch iMac will be updated with the next-generation M4 chip in late 2024. The M4 is expected to feature improved performance to support AI tasks and rumors, such as that Apple will add an updated neural engine with more cores macbook pro apple will refresh the macbook pro lineup with the m4 series chips in late 2024 the entry level 14 inch macbook pro will get the m4 chip in the late 2024 while the 14 inch the 16 inch model will be refreshed with m4 pro and m4 max chips mac mini the Mac Mini will be updated in late 2024 and it's rumored to receive a significant redesign with a much smaller form factor. Right now, Apple says a standard M2 version and an M2 Pro version and we are expecting that to continue with the M4 lineup. The Mac Mini will have M4 and M4 Pro chip options. iPad Mini 7. The next iPad Mini won't have any design updates, but it could have an upgrade A-series chip and new front and rear cameras. Apple could use an A16 chip, but adding Apple intelligence would require at least the A17 Pro. So these are the expected devices that will get an update this year. But of course, there are many more devices that are expected for the 2025s. So technically, we don't know which of these actually will stay for 2024 and which will be left for the next year. But at least there are high chances that there will be an Apple event this October. I just want to share what I think the upgrades will come because I feel like people say many devices will get updated but as soon as you don't hear from Apple of course you can't get for me but yes I will agree with people who say about the MacBook Pro because last year we got the MacBook Pro usually they were doing one year we go for the Pro next for the Air then we go back to the Pro then we go back to the Air but I feel like they started upgrading their Pro devices specifically when it comes to their MacBook Pro a lot more often. Maybe there is a reason for that. The iPad mini 7. I have talked in so many videos about the update of the iPad mini that at this point, I don't believe it until Apple doesn't show it because every time when I said there will be an iPad mini update, there isn't. So I don't believe that they're going to make it. There are people who use the iPad mini. Okay, maybe it's not their high-end iPad like the iPad Pro, but there are people who use it because of its size. It's bigger than a phone, smaller than a... It's like a a5 notebook or something but people use this imax okay they have done the imax m3 last year when they did with the macbook pro with m3 so maybe they will pair the macbook pro with the imac again but nothing is confirmed again this is just my speculation it'll be cool to do it maybe to do new colors because last year people were happy that there was an upgrade but again exactly the same colors maybe this is not what they were looking for but after all, the color is, yes, it's important, but the most important thing is the performance. Maybe you have the most beautiful design on a laptop or any device, but if the performance isn't that good, does the design really matter? So yes, I do expect the MacBook Pro, maybe a new Mac, the iPad mini, definitely no. And I don't think, some people have suggested there will be new iPads referring to the regular iPad as well, 10th generation. Yes, this is a possibility because it hasn't been updated like last year. 
So definitely there might be an iPad generation 11, but again, this is more like an entry level iPad. So I definitely don't believe that they're gonna put M4 because that would be way too powerful for entry level iPad. And also they have to keep the price a little bit low to cut all costs and to make it seem like, yes, this iPad has the capabilities for this price that we offer. Okay, guys, that will be the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. Comment down below. Do you think there will be an Apple event this year? And if you think, like, what Apple will show us? Maybe a new MacBook? Maybe another phone? Probably not. But speculations are so many. Yes, it's true that Apple doesn't like to put every single updated product in one keynote only in one event because there will be too many products. They will talk for hours. It's enough that they make, like, almost two hour long keynotes just for two to three products. But there are so many updates and also media won't know what to talk about. The new phone, the new MacBook, maybe a new Vision Pro, new laptops, what? So Apple wants their focus to be on a few products, only a few products at a time. So the media can talk about only this. Now they're talking about the iPhone 16s and the new AirPods and the Apple Watch. That's it. With the next event, the focus will be on the new laptops, how they will compare with the competition of the other companies, if there are new laptops, but we never know where to take until Apple confirms it. But that will be the video. Hope you enjoyed. Please smash that like button. I can like this video, share it with friends. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, turn on the bell so you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. And I'm gonna see you next time. Bye!